Hello and welcome to race four of our AI season. We are at Mid Ohio. Now this is one of those tracks I've always wished to race at, and I'm finally doing it. Okay, Ian, stay calm, focus. Oh, well, he's gone. Go, nail it. Well, can I make the most of this? So, yeah, we qualified P2, which took me by surprise, because these are my first laps of Mid-Ohio. It's one of those circuits when I used to watch the uh, Indy cars a few years back good few years back I always thought yeah I'd like to race that circuit so when I noticed it was on the iRacing track list that was soon added to the basket as a purchase Funny enough, I thought this was going to be the circuit I'd be the weakest at. <laughs> That's my best qualify. You're leading. This could be the usual story where the AI, once they settle down, will start to close in on me. So nothing's changed. Same AI, still 50 to 80%. That's 10 minutes left. And it's still Landon who's closest to me. There's a certain something about a circuit that's got undulations. how quickly those AI can close in, I am taking nothing for granted here. I'm already liking the circuit though. I see this would be quite a good one for the season. I'm sure they have had it as a global challenge race at some point in the past hopefully they'll have it again in the future I think he's closing in, you know. Oh, he's going to close in if I go wide here, though. Oh, that was close. I really thought I was heading for the grass. <laughs> the gap behind is now 0.8 seconds. 
The guy behind has just done a 130.3. Oh, no, he's not closing in much if he is closing in. Much, yeah, very similar lap times. I'm missing some, Jim. I was in the lead quite early on. All right, Ian. Halfway. Uh, feels like he's closer, is he? Right, similar lap times again. Oh, this could be wide. There's a big spread on the times. That's five minutes remaining. We can win this. Are you sure, Jim? Because I think Landon's closing in. He's definitely got closed in a bit on that lap. Sector 1 is 0.3 off the pace. Sector 2 is 0.2 off the pace. You need to find a tenth in Sector 3. Oh, look at that. 129 from Landon. That's my optimal lap times of 129. Close it in. A well, back marker. Oh, nice no, in the pits. Okay, Ian, that's good consistency. Keep it up.
just two minutes left, two minutes to go. Oh, that's deep. Oh, no, 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 no. Right. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Hold your line. Hold your line. Still there. Oh, so you just going to drive around the outside of me? Still there. Clear right. Whoa! One more lap. Keep it together. We'll win this. Easier said than done, Jim. This landing guy is fast. <laughs> Closes in so much there. Car left. He's not. Left. I thought he was going to just drive around right outside there. <laughs> I finally won a race. <laughs> It the course I was not expecting to get any kind of result at. <laughs> oh, he's a couple of tenths faster on his fastest lap was landing there. I do wonder how much faster he could have gone if I wasn't in his way. <laughs> Something must have gone on there with the AI because we've got some massive field spread. In fact, six. Dean has slowed right down, has he got... Oh, that'd be interesting actually, because I think there's been some incidents here. The last car hasn't actually finished yet. Oh yes now. There we go. Right, let's have a look then, because clearly something happened. Let's just pull this over to one side here. Well off the race line. There we go. Let's check out the incidents, because I think there's going to be some. That's a win. Great job. Well done. Oh, thanks, Jim. There we go. Race start. Oh, oh, he's off. Is that before we even got going, I think? Oh, oh. Two off at the... Oh, it's going to be another one off at the... Same. It's a popular place for the AI to go off, isn't it? It's good. Yep. <laughs> oh. I almost kind of secretly wished Landon went off and I could have closed the gap up a lot. Oh, I thought he was actually going to save it. And that is it. So, yeah, so there was a little spot there that the AI was having some difficulty with. That's interesting. Right, let's go and see where we are in our standings. Yeah, Amram gets first win in care. Big grid season at Mid Ohio Sports Car Course. <laughs> Me. Woo. 
Yeah. There we go. So. We finally got it. The first win. What was that? Uh, Ian Mitchum is now second in the Keir Big Rig season. 28 valuable points separate them from the top dog yet. I don't think I'm going to catch Landon, if I'm honest. Uh, but you never know. You never know. Strange things have happened. So, we are now, yeah, 28 points behind. Landon, I still think, is going to ultimately win it. We're just nipped ahead of Garrett now with the win. And um, Blake is back there. Let's see what car numbers they are. Is it? That's a shame. So I can't see what skill level they were set at. Yeah, so Blake is fourth. So I, mean, I, I know, I think Garrett's a 98 skill. Blake must be 95. Although, obviously, they are adjusted um, for the 50 to 80 percent settings that I've used for this. There we go then. So, finally got a win. Hey, broken the land and stronghold just with maybe a slightly dodgy move on the second to last lap. But there we go. It's for a race win. Um, and there was no incident point, so there we go. I'll take that. Um, yeah, so the season is continuing. It's still going well, as I say. I still think I need to adjust it ever so slightly, the AI, just so we can get a few more drivers in the mix. Because, again, in that race, it felt like once myself and Landon had got away, we'd left all the others quite some way behind. But the skill difference between them and Landon is not that much. Because of the adjustment, Landon's 100, and I think the next driver's 99 or 98. Um, so, yeah, not, not far off, really. But we seem to be getting some big gaps at the moment in the races um but yeah i hope you're enjoying this season i will so thank you very much for watching again and i will see you for race five at donnington park grand prix circuit bye